Hello, and welcome back to part two of Let's Play the Guardian Legend. When we left off, I was splaining things. Yeah, I won't use that voice again. Whatever voice was there. But yeah. Seal. Put it here. Okay, this is the room I was talking about where you can save your progress. This is it says, set your weapon to no use and press button A. We don't have a weapon yet, but we're already at no use, so... And there's your password. And while it was very nice, he allowed you to go in and hit word check so you can double check your password. Still really annoying to write down a 32 uh, character password. So thus, I will be using save states. If you get it wrong, it gave you that. You leave. Oh, stop it. Okay. Go back in here with the rug monsters. There is a round creature in this room. It will give you items in exchange for power chips. Simple enough. So let's walk over here. 50 power chips, he will sell this to you. What is that? You'll get to see in a minute. Notice there's another one up here for 100. And another one for 150. Fair enough. But we can't hold that many chips yet, so there's no way we can buy them. Let's see if these are I forget what me out there. Oh, now that we have some chips, go over here, select the weapon, and find some poor unsuspecting monster shoot that. Now you notice you have little jelly blobs. See, that's what it does. It's on a fairly decently powerful uh, wave. And that wave will actually go through some things. It won't go through the red, but it will go through most enemies. Excuse me! Goodness, yawn. Okay. So let's look at the other... Uh, let's look at these other ways out. Notice more jelly blobs and rug monsters. Room and see, notice. Oh, look, he wants 500 for that, and this guy wants 300 for that. Once again, still can't quite afford them, but, and it may be a while, but we will be able to afford them. Hmm, oh, there's a problem with the awning. Excuse me, everyone. Let's go to the west. You notice she got east, north, west, and yet there's a south. So, of course, and little bouncing rocks. So I don't know what else to call them. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm having all sorts of little fun voice problems. Okay, I put some weapons in these boxes. Take them out of the boxes to use them. Some weapons have been stolen by the life forms. If you need these weapons, you will have to destroy the life forms. All of the weapons need power chips. You must search for them. So, that's some. I explained a little bit of that already, but you notice so far the power chips. Power your special weapons and act as currency for the little blue landers, or whatever you want to call them. Anyway, new message from a benefactor said, I had all the corridors sealed. Remember, quarter was that vertical shooting stage. If you need to know how to remove the seal, ask the person who sealed it. To remove the seal at quarter number one, fire at the gate. All the quarters leading... All the rooms leading to the corridors are locked. 
so use the warp panel to get into the room. To use the warp panel, blast through the cover. You will also need the key for the panel. Good grief. Hang on. Hmm. That's getting annoying, even for me. Um, yeah. And that explains a little bit here. See, that is a warp panel, and the thing I shot was the cover. Uh, when it's blank like that, there is no key needed. But we will run into some shortly that do require keys. And see, that's the end of that little corridor. Go up and down from there, but we won't do that quite yet. But here's a shortcut to a different area. And room with bats. Yes, bats. I don't know why either. I can't stop yawning. There we go. I already went north. What am I thinking? We go south. So we can look at that one. There's south. Now, since we can start at south, I will start walking my way counterclockwise. Nothing here. I set seal six very well. You will need a special weapon to break it. Okay. See, now here is an example of a warp panel that needs a key. It needs three way a key that looks like three wavy lines. Now that we've gotten a little bit further, I can explain something. Right here, key, and it will show all the keys you collect right here. Um, I will find one shortly, but not probably not this video or the next one, it may be video 4 or 5, but eventually I yeah, will go into a corridor, beat the boss, and then come out with a key. That key will then show up here. Pretty simple, pretty easy. But for now, we move on and work on raiding this middle hub out of all the nice little juicy power-ups and weapons that it has. Empty room. Bats. Bats are probably the easiest enemy in this area, period, just because they do... Ah, oh, you hear that? That chime meant I leveled up. I got enough points to gain a uh, bar of health. That's all that does give you, gives you just a little bit more life. And looky, another warp panel that needs a key. I think this one does too. Yeah, need the square. Ow, I killed him with the headbutt. That's what it looked like. And little robots. Little robots are annoying. They're fast, do decent damage to you, and take a couple of hits at this point. Nothing you shouldn't be able to handle, but... Uh-oh. You heard that when I was in the quarter stage, didn't you? Yep. Now, it's kind of a rug monster, but kind of not, but he pops up on you. And when he stops... He drops a rug monster. Blue Lander. What that does, it's a power-up, and gives you an extra bar of health. Very nice. Pretty easy to handle him. But the mini-bosses do not respawn when you kill them. They're just gone. Another 
but... Uh-oh. No, let me get... Ah! Okay. And that sound means it is time for me to stop, so I will cut the video here, and see you back next time for part three. Later.